Hello, welcome to lesson 52. Link you syntax in C sharp part 2 brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn another important operator, another important clause that is group by clause. Before jumping into that, uh, let us recall in the previous session what we learned. In the previous session, we discussed some of the important link you query operators. They are from where and select right now we'll jump into the slide and explore the group by operator it's very easy now you can observe your few sentences over the slide which tells you about the group clause group clause or group operator gives result by keys this is the most important point of the group operator that is it gives the result by keys okay and it can access can access all the items with the keys if you are having a set of students and if you are using a group operator and if you want to access each property of the student and the key will be having that uh, power to access all the properties of the student okay and that is a specialty of group operator anything you can access using the key group is used in place of select in the previous sessions we learned like at the last we have uh, instead of group we here we had select operator okay any query will be ending with two operators one is group and another one is select as of now in this slide we are using the group operator group by operator and keep in mind other important pointers it requires two loops to get the result okay let us understand this correctly when we code in visual studio it requires two loops to get the result as of now just keep in mind it requires two loops to get the result and what are the two loops like outer loop and the inner loop keep in mind outer loop uh, obtains each group okay outer loops obtains each group and inner loops obtain the results within that group okay for example you are having two groups like boys and girls and the outer lo outer loops just gives uh, what are the types of groups present in present in the school uh, like boys and girls okay but the inner loops tells you like uh, the name 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 of the boys present in the group or name of the girls present in the group or the age or uh, the other properties which are present in that respective group okay outer loops just describes the heading type and it just gives like uh, what are the main things present in the group and but the inner loops will give you the complete details about that group okay this is what the two loops which are present which are required to get the result when we use a group clause and the syntax is something like this syntax is like group and this range variable by the key this is the key here you can observe in this example your group this is the range variable is address and this is the key the key is present here as of now in this example uh, here the key is like uh, it starts from here address dot substring address dot last index of this much okay before jumping into visual studio what we'll do is we'll just give a glance what are the important points present in the group class group class give results by keys and it uh, if you want to get the result when you use a group class we have to use two loops outer loops will give you obtains each group but the inner loops obtain results within that group okay let us understand this correctly when we code or when we uh, build one example okay right now we'll jump into visual studio and we'll start coding okay i would like to take example of this whatever it present here like website example okay what i'm trying to do here is first i'll just create an array of websites okay uh, now to save time i've just uh, already typed that part of the code okay i'll just copy this okay i'll just paste okay what, what it consists of here you can see an array of uh, array of string and the string name is array name is websites it consists of what this what this array consists of it consists of names of few websites like uh, yahoo.com bing.net google.org snapdeal okay i'll just change the name snapneed.com or flipkart angpro angprotraining.net okay now what is what i have to do with this uh, uh, data or data source i'm having a data source like array of websites okay what i have to do with this what is my intention in this program i want to group uh, the websites whose group the websites whose name starts with who's who is having who's the websites who is having the extensions like .NET, .org, and .com. Totally, I have to, I'm having three lists, like three groups. One is .com, .org, and .NET. I have to group them separately. Okay, how do I do that using a link you query? It's very simple. I have to initialize like var. Okay, var. I'll take a query variable uh, like a web address. I'll name it as web address. Okay, then. 
I'll see keep in mind every query a link query starts with from so I'm using from I'll take like uh, address the range variable address in this data source that is this websites this is the collection this is the data source we are having websites okay once I am done initialize this what is my next objective I have to use like a uh, group operator okay group address how do I how do I want to group it I want to group it by this last part like I want to list the websites by the last extension by the last extensions the websites is having like I want to group the websites who is having dot com dot net or dot org so if I want to obtain this as a, my key like this as my major group how do I do that this as my major group how do I do that and also this org I want three groups here how do I first group them it's very simple uh, group by address dot substring okay substring of address dot I'm taking making use of the last index last index of property uh, like I'll take after dot okay okay my now my link you query is ready okay um, what is my intention what I have to do here is uh, let us let us examine this uh, understand this query first I'm having a query variable like web address and return type is var I'm using from because link you query always started from and I'm having a range variable address in I'm having this data resource okay then I'm grouping the websites whose name ends with dot com dot org or dot net how do I do that it's very simple by uh, using by using the property called last index of what is this last index index of property does it's uh, last index of property uh, sorry <coughs> method what it does is it search the string here each uh, each one is a string it search the string from the right that is from the right and it finds the location of the last occurrence of a letter or a substring here we are using a sub substring the last occurrence here it's the dot is occurring here okay it takes the text from here from from dot to com okay then it is making us three groups like dot com dot org and dot net okay now once I'm getting that three list of groups like dot net dot com and dot org okay my next objective is I want to make a list of websites uh, whose extension is dot com dot net and dot org okay now how do I do that okay as in the slide we learned like okay if you want to get a result when you are using a group, a group clause then we have to use two loops okay you can observe here we are having two loops for each and for each okay what is this two loops what is this outer loop tells you outer loops gets result by group for example in this program in this program what would we do first we grouped in the sense we made three groups like three groups of dot com dot net and dot org okay that that is done by this outer loop okay now in this inner loop what we are trying to do is what are the results we got in the outer loops for that results we are trying to give a list of websites for the particular groups for example uh, in this in this program we have yahoo.com and snapdeal.com which comes under dot com extension similarly we have dot net bing.net and anchortraining.net which comes under dot net group similarly we have uh, snap google.org and flipkart.org which comes under group called dot org okay now how do i list them under particular each group there there at that point it comes under the inner loop okay inner loop plays the role there now without wasting time we'll jump here and we'll put two loops there for each loops okay where item i'll make it as i'll take variable as site and the collection is web address okay now once I'm done with this web address what I what is my next objective I want to print the groups first so I'll use console dot write line sorry guys console dot write line group name I have to print the group name like uh, what is the group name I have to use sites group name in the sense here it provides you the key key itself is a group name each group name so now I've, I've, I've just called the keys okay how do I call it it's very simple
okay sites dot key okay once i'm done with this what is my next objective okay now i have to use another for loop for each loop i'll just call like uh, um, the variable name is site and the collection is sites okay I have some error let's wait for that what it is telling like could not be found okay when I do this control dot okay let's wait for that what let us see what it tells like let us print those console dot right line let me print that variable site okay okay let's wait and let's see what is the problem going on here without wasting much time what we'll do is uh, we'll okay uh, like uh, we have this here I'm having the key key in the sense it will just it will be having three groups three group named like dot net dot com and dot org now what the inner loop has to do inner loop has to collect uh, the list of websites which come under particular key means which come under particular groups like uh, list of websites which come under dot com list of websites which come under dot net list of websites which come under dot com so how do i print that it's very simple um, like i have to print this site variable that's all site variable now uh, let us uh, make it very clear i'll just add a tab space okay now when i run this program let us run this program first let us see what it's going to give or the output we are going to get it okay when we are done with this let us let us examine it properly here we are having a website key it means the group called dot com and group called dot net and a group called dot org okay and below that you can observe a list of websites which are ending with dot com like yahoo.com snapneel and angpro.com and also a list of websites which are ending with dot net bing and angpro training list of websites ending with dot org google and flipkart and facebook also now how we how, um, the thing is how we got this output let us examine each of the steps very clearly now i'll just bring here you can observe this web this website key this key is like number the total number of groups here the total number of groups we have is dot com dot net and org that accessing that groups is done by this for each loop outer for each loop and accessing this list of websites which come under the particular group is done by the inner loop okay this is what when we use group clause we have to make use of two loops to provide the output provide the result okay and we'll learn we'll learn briefly what we learned in this example okay here you can observe outer loop contains each group your groups are dot net dot com and org and inner loop obtains result within that group like your dot net is a group and inner loop obtains result within that dot net group okay in this example we have website names like bing dot net and protraining dot net which comes under that particular dot net group okay and who are listing those and that are listed by this inner loop okay and similarly we have other websites which are listed under respective group got it this is what we learned in this example and this is what about the group clause okay let us recall group clause gives result by keys and we require two loops to get the result outer loop obtains each group and inner loop obtain the result within that group okay this is the two important points you have to keep remember remember when you use the group clause and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to hank pro training below